If you're looking for the top dietary sources of vitamin B12 to improve your energy or maybe even your mood, this video has got you covered. Hi, I'm Jess, I'm a clinical nutritionist, and this channel is all about optimizing your diet and lifestyle for better mental health. So while we're gonna dive into the top dietary sources of B12 today, if you're interested in understanding how B12 may play a critical role in your mood, then you could go check out this video here where we go over that in much more detail. So let's get into it. So just so you know, for reference, the current RDA for vitamin B12 is 2.4 micrograms a day, which may not seem like a lot, and honestly, it's not. Some people may require much more to feel like their best optimal self and in their best health, but I wanted to give you that for reference so as we go through these foods, you can kind of see where they fall on this scale. We're also gonna be discussing some bioavailability and special considerations regarding B12 in these foods, so make sure that you stick around to the end for that. So the first and highest dietary source of vitamin B12 is beef liver. I know we're diving straight into the source that you really don't want to eat. And don't worry, I'm not here to make you, I'm just here to give you the information. So one three ounce serving of liver is gonna give you 60, if not more, micrograms of vitamin B12. So that far surpasses your daily and even your weekly needs for cobalamin. And hey, if you're actually open to eating something like liver, but you just don't know how to prepare it or you don't want to, then check out my link in the description below for a really awesome company, US Wellness Meats, that actually makes products where they integrate the liver and things like liverwurst or burgers where you wouldn't even know that it's in there. Number two on this list are bivalves. And if you're not familiar with the term bivalves, this is pretty much anything with a two hinge shell. So think oysters, clams, mussels, scallops. These are very nutrient dense foods with very high levels of vitamin B12. Mussels and clams have approximately 20 micrograms per a three ounce serving. You're gonna notice that the next several foods on this list are in fact seafood. Number three on the list is mackerel, which is a type of fish that has approximately 16 micrograms of B12 per a three ounce serving. Number four is crab, which has almost close to 10 micrograms per a three ounce serving. And number five is one of my all time favorite foods, sardines. Sardines have approximately six to seven micrograms for a three ounce serving. And number six, I've lumped two foods into this category, salmon and tuna. And while no, they are not the same foods, they have approximately the exact same amount of B12 per a three ounce serving, which is approximately 2.5 to 2.6 micrograms. Moving on from seafood, number seven is red meat. Depending on the type of red meat, the micrograms can range from 2.4 to 2.7 per a three ounce serving. Some red meat like lamb is often a little bit higher and then even the quality like grass fed beef, for example, has been shown to be higher in this nutrient in addition to other nutrients as well. If you're getting value out of this video so far, don't forget to hit the thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel. It is the best way to support the content that I create. Thanks. Number eight is dairy and dairy products. It's gonna slightly differ depending upon which type of dairy product it is. So while a cup of milk will range from 0.9 to 1.3 micrograms, depending upon the fat content, so the higher the fat content, the higher the B12 content will be. Something like cheeses can be a little bit lower. Some cheeses like feta and cottage cheese are within the same range as milk, and then other cheeses cheeses, like hard cheeses, so cheddar, or even slightly softer like brie, they tend to be around 0.5 micrograms for like an ounce or a serving of cheese. Number nine on the list are eggs, and eggs contain approximately half a microgram of vitamin B12 per egg. And number 10 is poultry. 
poultry, whether it's chicken or turkey, is gonna give you approximately 0.3 micrograms of vitamin B12 in that three ounce serving. And number 11, I know this was supposed to be a list of 10, but we all know that from one to 10, things often go to 11. And 11 is actually fortified foods. Fortified foods aren't including in the ranking in terms of the amount of B12 in the one through 10 list because I wanted those foods to be ones that are naturally occurring. But some fortified foods can have a decent amount of vitamin B12, like nutritional yeast is a really popular one for vegetarian and vegans. It's also fortified in cereals and plant milks, for example, as well. And this is gonna take me directly into the next topic with some of these foods, with the special considerations and bioavailability. Because the best source of vitamin B12 are animal foods that concentrate bacterial produced B12 in their cells, it's recommended that vegans and maybe even some vegetarians either supplement with B12 or consume some of those fortified foods that I mentioned on a pretty regular basis. And while there has been some recent evidence in the last few years that there may be some plant forms of vitamin B12 that are in fact bioavailable in some kind of specialty nuanced foods like sea buckthorn, certain mushrooms, or algae, the prevalence of these foods is small and we really don't have enough information yet to say that these forms of vitamin B12 can prevent deficiency diseases, for example. There are additionally many conditions that likely will warrant B12 supplementation. So if you're interested in understanding those more, then please go watch my video on B12 that goes over the risk factors or risk factor populations for B12 deficiencies. But one population that I want to mention are adults over 50. Because adults over 50 can have a harder time absorbing B12 from the decrease in hydrochloric acid production as we age, it's actually recommend that this population gets a significant amount of their B12 from fortified foods or supplementation because supplementation is over 50% more bioavailable than it is in foods. So I will leave my favorite B12 supplementation links below if you think you're someone who may need it. But if you're still on the fence on whether or not this may apply to you, then don't forget to check out this video that's gonna go into those risk factors in a lot more detail. So hopefully I'll see you in that one. Thank you.